It's a big crazy shell. <laughs> I'm Angela. <clears throat> Hello, lovelies. I'm Angela. This is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue. Welcome to the channel. I hope you watched the most recent video. I hope you've been watching all the From Chaos to Cuisine videos. That's going to help today make sense. There's a lot going on here. So much going on. There's not really anything for me to do right now in the small pocket of time that I have before my French lesson. So I'm going to work on my Monet project. Pretty windy when I come back here. Uh, probably five years ago, we made a faux fireplace in the kitchen. And my design idea was that I wanted it to look like... <laughs> My idea was that I wanted it to look like those old chimneys, those old fireplaces that you see in France where it's no longer a working fireplace and instead they've put in uh, the range or like in England, they've put the aga in its place. So um, above that is where I'm starting my Monet tile. And again, if you haven't been following along on this whole, whole journey, uh, I invite you to do so. I will stick a playlist link up in the top here so you can maybe get brought up to speed. Um, I'm painting these tile because I'm obsessed with Giverny. There's my Giverny apron. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to wait until I have all of the hundreds of them painted. So I wanted to get started and just get some instant gratification. There's so many working parts to this project where I'm tinkering with the Monet tile. I'm putting down the terracotta. As we remove the wood floors, as you saw Joel around the corner, we're sanding them and cutting them and storing them in the conservatory, which is where my art studio is, where I paint. It's a pain. The house is going to hell in a handbasket quickly. It's very chaotic. I'm trying to just take it in stride. Uh, we have to bring the wood indoors because we don't have room out here in the garage with everything that we have going on here with the tile and it needs to stay uh, acclimated to the house. We don't want to keep, um, we don't want to store it outside and then have to lug it all back in to acclimate to the temperature of the house before we install it. I think I'm going to be installing that floor and then the long-term plan and the original plan when I made the conservatory was um, to paint it in a black and white checkerboard like Harlequin pattern which is just something that's so near and dear to my heart. I had it um, in our original home. I painted the wood floors that way. I love a black and white floor. I gotta have it with my brick walls and my green paint and my house plants and my art studio. So every room is being uh, occupied now by the terracotta tile project. I've got an hour and a half until my French lesson and I am going to try to make some progress with my tile project. There's just something about um, getting a win, really, in all of this chaos. I just need a win. <laughs> I'm here for it. So I bought some wood yesterday. I'm gonna frame out that door that you've seen that I've been using as my mantle. Um, we just found it in the basement when we first moved in and I set it aside for this project. And so I'm gonna frame it out. I'm gonna paint it the color of Luga, which is my Laconche. That's her um, affectionate, the affectionate name we have for her. I'm gonna see how I like that. So with all of this uh, kitchen design that I've been doing for the last six years, there's always this sort of push-pull between the really rustic and the really charming, a more clean look. So Monet's kitchen definitely has a more clean look. It's shiny tile, it's shiny copper. There's not really any stone. He does have the Tomet, the terracotta tiles. Um, so I'm debating on if I'm going to keep my beams a nice rustic wood or if I'm going to paint them. So right now I'm just like inserting a little bit of shiny over the stove. I know I'm all over the place. Um, you can see why. If you've been watching the From Chaos to Cuisine uh, sort of series we're doing on the channel, you can see why. I mean, it's, it's chaotic. There's no way around it. My goal is always to have everything in order 
by the time the tulips bloom, by the time everything starts to get pretty. Right now it's gray and dingy. We've been blessed with beautiful weather. I'm out here in a t-shirt. I should be in a snowmobile suit. So I'm gonna bring this wood in and measure and then bump Joel off of the saw because I did it myself so I can make a little progress before my class. position here. I had to quit yesterday. Yesterday uh, did not go <laughs> the way I wanted to. So I'm trying to remember what I filmed last. I think it was me getting stuff out of the truck and cutting the wood for this project. Well, it was really cold. It was colder than I let on in that video. I'm sure I'm all like rosy cheeked and it was just cold. Um, and then I got started and I was killing it. I, I like carpentry. I like, I use the word carpentry like very, very loosely, but I do enjoy like doing baseboard and crown molding and things like that. So I was pretty jazzed to be working on my project and we had made our big trip, like you saw to Home Depot. The wood from Home Depot and Lowe's and all those stores is so bad. It's so expensive and it's so 
bad. It was crooked. We were struggling even finding a piece in the store. We thought we had found one. Hold on while I pull onto the highway here. We thought we had found one, uh, a few pieces that was gonna work. And so last night I was cutting the wood and I brought it inside. I don't think I filmed this part. Um, I put the wood up on the front of the mantle and sure enough, it was like kicked out like this, you know, like peeling away from the wood. So I was gonna really have to nail it down. I didn't wanna do that. I was just going to use liquid nails. Um, and so I pulled it away and I was standing in the kitchen and I just said to myself, how bad is it really? And I just took the piece of wood in my hand and just sort of wiggled it around. It snaps right at the finger joint. The last big stretch of wood that I had. I don't even remember if I swore or cried. All I know is I don't have another three plus hours to go to Home Depot for another piece of wood. I'm so disappointed. So I am just talking to you in real time. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I have a feeling I am going to attempt to E6000 and caulk the crap out of this wood just so I can finish today's video. And then if I have to replace it, I'll replace it. I don't know when I pop it back up there, you know, if I put that pressure on it, I, it's probably going to crack again. So this is the video we have planned in our timeline. And I don't even know at this point if I'm going to have a finished product to close for like an ending scene. It's crazy. So that's it. I'm going to do something different. And in my next video, I'm bringing you the director's cut of this video. Every detail of how we did this Monet tile project and the end result. Be sure to join my Old World Design Society. I'm going to treat you to one month free. Become your home's very best interior designer. I'll see you all again very soon. A bientôt.